let it be itself my eyebrows have their own different identity for sure so yeah so i just don't do it with super crazy things to it i just fill in where it needs to a little bit and that is it yeah eyeliner one thing i can't do on camera because i will literally die um it is the most stressful thing on earth and yes my life is very hard as you can see so i'll be back after doing my eyeliner but this is how far i've come on my makeup i am back and i didn't really do a super crazy eyeliner because i didn't want to do that and give myself extra <laughs> bit of stress because i think this is perfect for this look i think it's very natural simple and short so but i use one brush to do everything like complexion wise also like i my birthmark so i've been born obviously it's birthmarks i'm born with it but what i wanted to say was when i ever i get like a new makeup done for any event or anything like that from outside like professional makeup artists do it i always literally have to tell them to not sort of not um hide my but because they always love to make that i don't know why but yeah because it's literally so perfect and i don't think it looks bad at all and honestly i think it also has to do with a lot of people might think that a birthmark or anything on your face as such as this i've never spoken about this because i've never felt this way honestly um my crowd or people whom i've hanged out with or even in my school i don't think it was ever shown to me as a problem i've never gotten any comments on it which were negative in any way i've always gotten positive comments like it's your beauty mark or anything speaking of anxiety about it so i think it also has to do with how you've been brought up and how people around you have treated that honestly and as i said i've always gotten positive things about it so i don't consider it as a flaw of any sort in fact i think it's my identity and i love it so if any of you ever thought that If I have dealt with anything as such sort, it's never happened, and it will never happen with me because I literally do not care what other people think. Um, and that is honestly how you should stay. You should literally not give a shit to whatever other people's opinions about your looks or anything else. And that is how I intend to live. by not giving a shit to anybody because that's literally the key i suck at nose contouring i don't even know i tried to attempt it hopefully at this time it does not fail me because i very rarely am I ever going to try nose contouring and today i think i'm feeling extra adventurous to try that on on you Let's see how that goes. I honestly don't need it because I did it with such a precise brush that it could not go wrong. Yeah. I have a very fat nose. So right now I just finished like this much of my makeup. I have to put mascara on, and I am happy with glossy tips today. So I might not change that up. I just have to slap on some highlighter and.
are the two things that I will never miss. It's one of my favorite highlights, by the way, because it has this, you know, like dual tone. So it not only look pink, but it also look like rose gold and gold, and it really makes my skin look really nice and sparkly. I don't think you can see much of it on camera. YouTube AdSense money to buy new cameras. That is the goal for this channel is to get as much as AdSense money to buy myself a camera so I have better video quality and actually could see what's going on in here. So I'm extremely happy that I decided to start a YouTube channel and I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope to make much much more fun content and not just me sitting and doing my makeup but I just wanted um, my first video to be as chill and as organic and as comfortable for me to be. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. If you like this video then like it and subscribe and